Hey guys, and welcome back to the Earth and Bloom channel. We're back on the sawmill here. Previous video you've seen, we were working on more two by fours. So we're back on the green monster. We got a little, just a little pine log here. Let's see what it is. So we're seven feet. Just a hair over. So yeah, we're just a hair over seven feet and we're 11 inches on the small end. So just a small one. This will finish off the dimensional number for today. And then I think after this one, we'll throw up a nice, a tulip crotch. So that'll be interesting. And we'll throw that on right after we quickly finish this one up. We'll just do this one in a time lapse and then we'll focus more on that tulip crotch. So let's get this one leveled up and ready to go. This is my homemade little tow board here. I had it, I had it made up for the old mill, but it works for this one. All right. We look pretty close there, so. We'll get the mill warmed up, get you guys set up in a time lapse. This one shouldn't take very long. And then we'll get onto that tulip. All right, that didn't take too, too long. We got eight nice four by four, or sorry, two by fours. Perfect. By four inches. And that was just going off the scale, so it gets you pretty darn close. We got one two by four here that has a bit of flitch on it, but that's all right. Adds character. We'll get set up for that short tulip piece. It'll just go right here. So this one has two shorter bunks right here with stops. They're three feet, so that's the shortest you can cut. And that's what I think we're going to be cutting. So we'll just put these two by fours in the pile and go pick up the tulip. I'm going to have to start building more things, getting a lot of two by fours. What can you do?
spark on it. It really wrecks your blade. Do a little trimming. This one might turn out nice. some wedges. Cut a bit off the other end. Alright, I think we're good to go. That should do the trick. Take a peek, see? Yeah. We'll just fire her up again. That's our blade tension. 2000 should do the trick. Oh, gotta love these Hondas. I'm thinking right there. Hopefully that comes out, but we'll do one more two inch slab, I think, or an inch and a half. Let's do one more inch and a half, and then one more inch and a half, then we'll flip it, and we should be able to get a couple nice two inches.
guys all right down there? Oh, we're getting some color. That's probably so dry, it'll go right in the wood stove. Oh yeah, those are nice. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's tulip poplar. Now we just gotta do a flip. Won't need the tractor for this one, it's pretty light. There's a slider this way. Beautiful. My first time milling something like this. Never had the capacity for it. Did they come out far enough? There we go. All right, I think we are ready. Gonna hit a little bit of dirt there, but that's all right. That's all right. Where's my broom? Get in there. All right, let's slice this one up. So I guess we need a little bit of water and we'll do a little bit of a splish and splash test. The money slab should be under this one. But we got a lot of nice bark inclusion, some swirl. Let's get some water for you. Be right back. All right, you guys got your eyes open? Here we go. First splishy splash on the new mill. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is what I bought this mill for. So yeah, this is tulip poplar. We got some greens up here. And then this is the crotch that's interesting. We got swirls. Uh, grab a tape measure here. So, tip to tip, we're 37. About 35 straight across. So that's pretty cool. Let's do a few more cuts and then we'll see what they all look like.
Hmm. Got to adjust the throttle. four two inch slabs and two inch and a quarters These ones are nice. They almost got a butternutty kind of kind of grain to them. So yeah, these are $80 slabs a piece once dry. These will be ready to go in the spring because they were fairly dry already. So it's $320 right here. That's about a quart of wood. So I think it's worth it. They're really nice. Especially this one here in the sun. Well, you see right here with the crotch swirl, it's kind of a butternutty. A butternutty grain to it. And especially in there. It's just all around nice stuff. So yeah, I didn't buy this mill to do dimensional lumber like you seen us doing at the beginning of the video. It's not that much of a production mill, but this is what it's good at. It is odd shaped wide stuff. So this is 35 to 37 inches right here so i'm happy hopefully you guys are happy hit the like button if you enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys in the next one